Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, wanted to do a quick Node tutorial video here. Something really cool that's kind of come up. Um, if anyone's seen the scale and destroy uh, bug that's happening here in Forge, um, it's it's pretty cool. I really hope they don't fix it, but there's a good chance they will at some point. But um, basically, what it is, let me make sure we're on the right Node graph here. Um, what the bug is, is that you can plug in a player into the vehicle spot on this scale and destroy, and it basically shrinks the player down and makes it so they're pretty much invisible in a sense. They're like microscopic, but your guns still stay the same size. Some of your armor effects are still there. Um, it's, it's kind of wacky. So let's, Let's just go ahead and start this off. This What this does on player spawn is means any player that spawns into this game now is going to get shrunken down over a five-second period right as they start. You can change this number. So if you want them shrunken immediately, you could do like 0.1 seconds. If you wanted it to be over the course of five minutes, you could add you know five minutes worth of seconds in there. But um, So when we go ahead and start, just watch my player. I'm going to just slowly shrink down. So from my view, I can see my gun still. Um, other players, I was messing around with my brother local yesterday, and he he couldn't really see anything but my guns, which um, I think we can take a look at what that looks like. <laughs> it's just like two guns floating there. It's kind of wacky. All right, so... The player itself is cool. I think there's a lot we could do with that, like the little mini maps or things like that. Um, the the other cool thing is vehicles, which um, there's a couple ways you could do vehicles. I mean, well, there's probably a lot more ways. I'm gonna actually unhook this one just so my player doesn't sp scale down. But if you just do on entered vehicle, scale and destroy, uh, oh, we don't want the player. We want the vehicle. We'll do it over five seconds. So now when we r run this, it should be as soon as we enter the vehicle that it scales down. And it gets pretty tiny. The weird thing about these banshees is that your player actually disappears at some point, so you can't see yourself. Look how it's like a little baby replica. There is also a like an invisible, like the actual size of the of the the banshee still there. You can see by where that sparking is. Like it, I'm I'm running into this invisible banshee, but um, and actually it's like not letting me get back into it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's let's do a, one other thing here, and we'll. We'll actually go through a lot of these vehicles because I think it's super cool. Oh, I've already got it set up. So what I did, I just made this plasma beam so it's easy to see. Set up an area monitor and said if you enter, if the object enters the area, go ahead and scale and destroy. So the interesting thing about when you are driving a vehicle and you enter an area monitor, it only triggers for the vehicle. It doesn't trigger for the player. So that's kind of interesting thing to be aware of. But as we drive these vehicles into the little beam it's going to shrink them down and we'll get to see what it looks like to drive around in these little mini vehicles so i'm going to start off with the warthog i think this one's just hilarious oh i didn't didn't turn off our our other thing but yeah so you can actually see your players sticking out i think it's funny how your player uh looks like he's shifting gears and stuff and I think this is going to be amazing for like Mario Kart sort of maps. Everyone driving around in little carts. So I am going to turn off our on player enter vehicle. For some reason it's not letting me go back into. There we go. Okay. So let's turn off the 
the auto thing because I just wanted to show you how it it'll let you just use area monitors. Almost anything that can trigger an event can trigger this happening. So it's really, really just pretty funny and cool. Got like a little mini Chieftain Chopper. When you shoot, it still lets you like use all the vehicle capabilities. All right, just for the sake of time, let's go through these pretty quick. But the ghost is really cool. You're pretty much like sitting cross-legged. <laughs> stuck on invisible vehicles. The guns still say big on this. All right, I'm going to actually skip the, the normal gun goose, or the mongoose here. The Razorback, I think this one's perfect for Mario Kart. It's the closest thing to a cart and you're, you're like micro machines racing. Uh, the rocket hog, the rockets stay big. Oh, geez. You can, you can actually have another player stand on the back of this in the on the rockets while you're driving around in this little mini thing the tank is really funny because the whole top part of the tank is considered different if you want like a mini tank battle yeah, i haven't actually tried the wraith yet so let's see what this one does <laughs> it's like a giant turret. That is wild. Okay, uh, and then this one's really cool too. I'm going to show you the, the other view because you like... So, oh, geez. Where'd it go? Obviously, there's some bugs going on here. Um, I do want to show you the, the wasp, though, because it's really funny when you look at someone else's perspective. Jeez. So it's like your head becomes the wasp and you're just like hovering around. It's like Wonder Woman's invisible jet. Yeah, that's uh, the bug that I thought was really funny that I wanted to show you all. Um, I'm sure there's probably more to this that we can figure out. Uh, there's some people talking about trying to figure out if you can stop the shrinking at some point and maybe get players just mini, but where you can still see them. So lots, lots to do here. Feel free to test it out, share your, share your finds out. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you had uh, some fun with this and we'll catch you all in Forge.